Yep, there's one. That is a tank. Oh, what am I doing? What is happening, fish and friends? Welcome to another episode. Out for a little evening of fishing. Just got off work. Uh, I don't get to do this a lot, unfortunately. I need to go out for more evening sessions, but gonna see what we can find out here tonight. I think I have a chatterbait Texas rig, but uh, enough yapping. I'm packing light today, though. I didn't bring a whole ton of stuff. I think like three rods and a little backpack. So we're doing that. Enough yapping, start fishing. First spot here, I found some wood. So you know what I say, find wood pitch to wood and hopefully by the power of gray school tonight we'll be able to find and actually catch a few fish it'd be it'd be fun no rain everywhere's way lower than normal the fish are not in the same normal bank fishing spots oh making the making the bank fishing grind even harder than it than it is usually how about this log oh, any fish around this here log oh what do we do well, let's mix it up and try something moving around the edges of this stuff. Historically, chattering baits are one of my most snagged and lost lures. So hopefully I don't lose it. This is the only one I have of this color, especially. Oh, that's a fish. All right, a couple casts in, woo. All right, little action Jackson there, baby. Seems to work. Doing better for me than the Texas rig was. There we go little pounder on the day thanks dude we appreciate it one fish is fun but one fish is not a pattern oh, that was almost Debo falling in right there that would not have been too good risk oh that feels like a better fish he was down in the wood a little bit yeah you felt better there fella down in that wood a few casts in Found a couple on the clacking. Another little pounder. There's another one. Get out of there, dude. Oh, lost him. Should have been three right there, dang it. All right, well, this little bluegill looking clacking doing the deal for me. Slightly stained water. Over where I was at earlier, pitching around that wood, it was actually pretty clear. A little bit dirtier over here. I like that if we can find some of this dirtier water and find some of these fish hiding in and around it, that makes me a little bit more comfortable than the real, real, real clear water. I personally am not a fan of that stuff. Oh, I thought that was a fish. Then I thought I was stuck on a log. By golly, it was a fish. The clacking putting in some work for me there we go little belly you're still a dink dude go eat some more bluegill that's what he was keyed in on well we've caught three fish shallow wood throwing the the chatter and clack in here super k clack in there that's in their bluegill color beautiful little color there it's got like the uh, green pumpkin on top little black and blue blue head and their clack and connects directly to it my unboxing I actually put that blade on backwards I had a couple people call me out, but um, it seems pretty consistent. I am I am happy with it There we go Finally one on a Texas rig, man. He was up shallow in that bush. All right, well, there we go. Little dude on the Texas rig up shallow in the wood, huh? That's funny because that lure kind of dangled there for a second on that log. And as soon as it kind of stalled, he came out of there and grabbed it. Interesting. What the heck? Fish jumping right over here where I'm fishing. I can't get a bite. Come on, then. Bite this little craw now. Come on. Eat this crawfish. There's a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Got him. Not a monster. Well, it has been a, a night of uh, dinktastic destruction, it appears. Another one on the Texas rig. Ooh, he's got like a big old growth on his back. Gross. 
I like these little craws. These are the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Craws. Thanks my guy Brando for giving me the last few in his pack, showing me those I'd never seen them before. They have a cool profile. They have a very flappy, like, the legs flap on them instead of like really fast flutter, like a, more of a, you know, a rage craw does. These have like a very wide flappy action. Interesting, different. Oh, there's another bite. Got it? Yep, got him. Two right there with the craw, all right. Crawl and chatterbait doing the work. And I've had to slow to dragging it back here. That's funny, how many times did I cast there with that chatterbait or that clacking and not get a single bite? All right, well, there we go. Still dink dominance tonight, but we're getting some fish setting the old Texas rig hook. I never get sick of that, honestly. Oh, ouch. It never gets old. Honestly, probably I have caught more fish on a Texas rig, either weighted or not weighted, than any other lure in my arsenal. It's something I pretty much always have tied on. One lure that I feel like I can get bit on pretty much anywhere. Ooh, I'm afraid up there. I'm going to retie real quick. All right, got her all tied up again. Cast out by this tree. Both those bites have come right in front of this little tree or log or whatever this is over here. Dragging the crawl, dragging the old crawl, getting a couple bites, any more, oh, there's one. Are you better? Are you better? You feel like you could be better? Three fish off that same wood pile. Oh gosh, that is a tank. Oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, oh my golly. <sighs> Fat mama ready to spawn, yes! Oh, please tell me I'm recording thick. <laughs> this is why we do it, folks. This is why we come out and grind. It was one of those nights I was like, man, struggling to get a bite. <sighs> Let's get a weight on this girl. Man, when I saw her come up, I was like a big fish ready to eat. Oh my God, please tell me it's gone. Oh, thanks. Okay, we're zeroed out. What's she going? Oh, not nearly as big as I thought. Yeah, she just got a big, huge belly. Four pounds, 13 ounces. Doesn't matter to me. Look at the gut on that fish. That thing is full upon full with a side of full. All right, big girl, we had you out enough. That is why we come out fishing, friends. This is what makes it all so much fun. Look at her. Off she goes. Lordy, she was thick. All right, that's a look at them right there. Big Bite Baits, Kamikaze Craw, Green Pumpkin Purple Copper Flake. I bought some more of these, and the crummy thing is I bought three inch. They're a little bit smaller. These are the 3.75 inch, so I messed up. I'm going to have to buy some more. These are, these are money. I've never seen these before. Brando, thank you for showing them to me, brother. They are working tonight. All right, let's get back out there. Every bite I've had has been off this bush. Whatever's in and around this bush, there's a number of fish stacked up. That's funny. That's a little 1 8 ounce tungsten weight is all with that little craw and hook. This is that new Lose LFS. Oh, there's a bite. You got it? Got him. Not a big one. But another fish nonetheless. Oh, there we go. Another dink, little guy. It's been a night full of dinks minus that one, but I don't care. That big mama made it worth it. Another one. As soon as I started swimming at that time. He thumped it. Man, as soon as I started swimming that, he smacked it. Another dink. Not a moose. We caught one moose back here though. Man, he hammered that. All right, fishing friends, that was the end of the trip. Fun day out there. That was actually a couple weeks ago. I thought I shot an outro, but I guess I didn't. Um, a fun day of catching fish. Started out catching them on the clack, and y'all just saw that in a video uh, a couple videos ago from Super K Jigs. It's their version of the vibrating jig. Caught a few on that on this combo here. 
That is the $99 Xfinity combo, the lose combo I got from uh, Walmart. Not bad for a $100 combo. We're going to be reviewing that soon. But that little flurry of fish that I got on, especially that big fish, all came on this. The lure I was throwing was from Big Bite Baits. That is the Kamikaze Craw. Now, I was not throwing the three inch. Uh, my buddy Brando actually gave me a bag of the four, whatever the four inch ones are, the larger ones. Um, I grabbed a bag of these and didn't notice they were the smaller ones, but I was throwing the larger size. And that color there, green pumpkin, purple, copper flake. Great little bait. It's got kind of a, like a flappy tail action instead of like a real fast, like kicky flutter. You can see those little arms and they're kind of flat. They've got holes in them. Interesting little bait. And I was throwing it on this combo. This is that Okuma Serrano rod. This is a seven foot three medium heavy rated for lures up to three fourths of an ounce. Uh, that is that Lou's speed spool. I just did a review on that. That's their new speed spool, the, uh, the $99 reel with a 15 pound fluorocarbon on there. So a very, you know, regular combo, nothing too crazy. Caught some good fish. So the whole deal of catching those fish, they were all piled up on one little bush out there. Um, as I was saying when I was dragging through, I hit a little bush out there on one, and I caught all those little fish piled up on that, especially that big one sitting right there. Now that's key because I have a lot of people say, well, I don't see any cover or anything on my, you know, my lake or pond where I'm fishing. I didn't see that. I wouldn't have known unless I drug across it. So keep your eyes out for that stuff. If you're throwing a cast or a tree bait and hit something, go back with like a weedless Texas rig like that. Try to come over the spot and see if there's any fish hiding in there. It worked for me. But anyway, today's subscribe fishing friend is my guy, Mike Shifter. Mike, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, everybody else who continues to watch and support my videos means a ton to me. But uh, I got to get this stuff unpacked. Man, it is hot out here today. Can you tell I'm sweating? Woo! Gotta get stuff unpacked and in, so thank you all for watching, and until next time. <laughs>